doing, which is trying to be public about everything. Uh, all of their uh, dependencies on third parties is uh, pretty well documented. So you can see it in there. And this all started brewing when originally the Silvergate network was under attack. Uh, so anyways, let me hop over to my, uh, and I'll try to show it here at source. So Hydra doesn't get pissed at me. Give me one second. Uno momento. All right. Uh, Mr. Staggs, would you like to start us off with this week's events? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. One second. One second. One second. Where are we? Yeah, no worries. All oh, right. So I am. Sorry, guys. One sec. Um, okay, sweet. So this week we have the um, education. We had the education weekly call. Um, the times are a little bit messed up this week because of the daylight savings um, changeover. So um, I've updated. Um, I think I've updated everything okay. Um, but yeah, so we had the education call today at uh, 4 p.m. PST. Weekly update at, eight, uh, at 6 p.m. PST, which is now. Tomorrow we have Bud Smart Money, um, and then following that we have PJ doing um, semantic AI training. Wednesday we have Ads Leads Online Sales um, at 5 p.m. PST, and we have uh, the Chi discussion. Uh, um, Thursday we have an AMA with Hustle Project. They are one of the members of the com uh, community i forget who it is but um he, he is i think he, he's heavily involved in that so he's um wanting to, he wanted to set that up so and then following that we have the crypto quarterly vc um sunday we've got monks poker at 6 p.m do have a couple of community notes nothing major so this week uh the monks poker was won by fomo cop um uh, again, if you guys want to do any events, something you want um, to teach the monks, or you, yeah, you just want to jump on and have a chat, we have uh, we have openings in April, uh, March just got fully booked up um, about an hour ago. So um, now we're working on filling up April. So if you want to do something, um, send me a message so I can get you locked in. Um, as you guys know, Dizzy and Dizzy's been doing the recordings for the event um, all of last week. If you guys go to the, to the holders section, um, you'll see all of the up um, the events got uploaded to YouTube. You guys can check them out. Um, so if you guys have been into the the scrums um, this week, uh, the end of last week, and for the rest of this week, it's hosted by um, Howie. Uh, he'll be doing this um, to get a bit of experience so he, he can put it on his resume and then I'll be back um, to do it next week. Um, again, I mentioned it a, couple, uh, a few weeks in a row now. Um, if you guys want to help out with the merch store, um, we want to get that up and running. And um, as we have a look at the, the temple section of the um, of this server, temple you'll you'll see at the bottom there there's a new one called temple voice we're going to start to be moving some of the um some of the bud smart money and the semantic trainings and some of the other ones into those channels um because we have we've got a couple of people jumping in um and yeah, we want to sort of encourage people to um have a monk to training so because um, it's something we provide for our members so we, we want to keep the want to keep the good stuff for for the holders of, of the project um, I don't have much else to add I'll give it back to PJ all right <clears throat> yeah I was gonna say uh, so anybody working on chat GPT or AI that's what that semantic training is really going into but it's going deep into it um, and uh, Obviously, Mr. Bud Money comes through every week, <clears throat> which is awesome. Um, oh, let's see. We're going to jump down here to proposals. All right, so current proposals out. I'm, I forget which ones we're doing today, uh, but uh, I have them open. I think, I, I think there's three that are out. 
uh, that I have, but I'm going to go over two if I remember correctly. So anyways, the first one uh, is Mr. Hydra with Incorporation. It's drafted. It's also being uh, thoroughly vetted and in debate. Uh, next is Legal Services, which is hi it's also Hydra. And Mr. Eli Quaker, uh, currently in Keeper Review. Uh, we have our budget for 2023, uh, which is still in draft. Uh, and we'll have hopefully by the end of week. As you guys know, we went over the budget and allocating free resources. The price of ETH pumped a little bit with all the crazy shit going on with USDC. So uh, that is definitely um, helping, but you know it's it's short term. So, anyways, it, it adds to our bottom end here. Uh, Treasury management by Hydra is also in keeper review. Community mods uh, is also, I think, that one goes in the keeper review or is in keeper review, uh, and that one's coming from. Dizzy and Mr. Basil. And then finally, education. The business plan is in drafting, but I thought we did. Oh, no, no, no. This is the business plan. Oh, I got you. Okay. So these are numbers 14, 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh, for the proposal. So uh, these are going up. And uh, Convoy Hydra. The education business plan one I know is in drafting is that's also based off the conversations that we had last week, right? Um, or was it the, it was the week before? I think it was last week, right? Yes. Yeah, so we've yeah taking into account those conversations and and others to put together okay. a business plan. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! All right, cool. All right, Mr. Mel Hydra, you want to walk us through the uh, focus? Yes, okay, cool beans. So um yeah for work pods. So um said incorporation. So um there's two parts so eli has kindly offered to assist us with legal compliance and just cleaning up a lot of the stuff that hasn't been done so that includes incorporation that includes things like make, making sure our ip for monks is guaranteed things like creating a code of conduct employment contracts for monks as well um so that so that proposal is up for keepers and we'll be going through that after this um the incorporation structure so eli and i have spent many hours um, discussing an optimal structure for the DAO um, and um, we're, we're putting the last of that together at the moment um, so we'll come back to you guys as soon as we can um, with that it's it's relatively complex um, so um, but we'll come back as soon as we can in terms of ex in terms of treasury and budgeting right so the treasury proposal went up last week um, we've had about a week to review as keepers um, I think there's two there's two actions on that so the first one is for for us to kind of review in principle what it is and then second the second uh, part of that is to approve that proposal and then for us to then go into a bit more depth on individual items so whether that's potentially investigating an eth node or whether it's other trading strategies that we might want to employ having a look at what that looks like and and how um, the DAO wants to manage its risk around investments versus return um, redeploy website so that the website redesign was document stag uh, was documented last week stags um, put together some requirements for a monks um, customer portal so what what a holder would see when they went um, into the back end of our site um, we're also arranging meetings with potential um, design firms um, just so that we can understand um, one where we can improve upon our current website design and two um, what it's going to cost us to deliver um education i don't want to steal um fires um thunder so we'll let him talk to that bud will also give you a section um just after uh, mr fire later as well in terms of path to monetization um we had a chi meeting last week which was really good um we discussed <clears throat> um with with a number of the community as well as a few um a few of the leadership team how we could um perhaps monetize um ai assistant bots um, as a core part of our project deliverables. So um, that needs to be discussed this week. I think before that meeting, um, we'll get together a list of actions that we came up with last week, just so that we can start cracking on and, and assessing the viability of that business. And in terms of server, server moderation, again, Dizzy and um, Basil have put up a proposal for that. Um, we'll read through that later. Um, and over to you, Mr. Fire Convoy. All right, appreciate it. Do I need to cover anything on this uh, first slide here? Okay, perfect. 
No, like, we can come back. You. I think we just have balances. Nothing really changed this week. So nothing changed on balances. Um, okay, so education multimedia production. So got a few graphics on here. On the left is the uh, Japanese characters for Yoko Tenkai. I've uh, written those and, and made those myself in Illustrator, so they're unique and monks um, uh, monks owned or or whatnot, right? So I don't need to worry about licensing a font or anything like that. Uh, wanted to make an icon for the Yoko Tenkai. And so, uh, so far, this is what I've got. It's essentially represents four monks standing in a circle, um, sharing wisdom together. Uh, and it's sort of 2D nature represents the lateral uh, sharing of knowledge that, uh, that Yoko Tenkai is all about rather than top down. Um, and in the center are two juxtaposed uh, infinities representing that uh, infinite knowledge that we share together as a faction and uh, with other monks. Um, went ahead and uh, I assume we can pick whatever color we want for a specific brand color, but if, uh, if not, we can always adjust slightly. But I went ahead and found this orange that I think works pretty well. Um, which would be 1065, 100, and 0 as a brand color for the faction. So I um, went ahead and got those details set up so we can have consistent look and feel wherever it may be necessary. Is that the um, color of the actual robes, though? Did you snag the color for the actual robes? I, actually, I did not. Um, <laughs> oh. But I, I, I think real robes, right, are, of course, going to be a variety yeah. of different oranges. But I, I think it's in that spectrum, right? It's not, like, too intense yeah. or where yeah, it's only, yeah, like, yeah. a digital color. Um, but it's not too muddy either. So, uh, like yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, business planning. So, uh, as we already touched on briefly, working on a detailed business plan of possibilities of how we can um, generate revenue. Uh, have an appointment later this week with uh, with Metal to go through uh, that, hopefully clean it up a little bit. And then um, the plan is to probably do some, uh, oh, oh, I can't remember. What what do they call that poker in, uh, in, in Scrum where you use the, uh, uh, <laughs> anyways, to vote, right? And we're going to try to figure out which of, which of the different ways we can generate revenue we should planning prioritize. Poker. Planning poker. There you go. Planning we'll poker. do some planning. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We'll do some planning poker using Fibonacci sequence numbers to... Uh, figure out how we want to prioritize the different um, methods to uh, seek out revenue for the faction, and then we'll uh, we'll execute based off those priorities. Um, so that's coming. I'm really happy with the progress so far, but uh, probably uh, a few several hours left to finish it up. Uh, been working on mid journey, um, you know, posting some of them in the general chat and and whatnot, but. Um, started building a deck, uh, hope to work a little more with, uh, Miss Lynn in the coming, uh, days and, and maybe Julo as well to put together a list of the prompts that we are using and the output that they generate so that we can figure out whether we can coax mid journey into producing a sort of consistent style and, uh, imagery that would be, uh, sort of consistent with our brand. Right. Um, Have you tried using it, seed yet? Uh, t using what was that? The seeds, seeds? The image seeds. Yeah, I I have, but I've totally not figured it out at all yet. It's it's uh -huh. definitely uh have a lot more to do to figure out the seeds to get them to do what I want. Um, and so yeah, so that's that's my journey. It's it's going well. Um, Eternals. So I was able to pick up a a second Eternal there over the last couple of days. Uh. Looking forward to hopefully, uh, hopefully the the offers on the table to update the art still. So if that is the case, I'll do some some custom art for this one as well. Um, and there will be two Eternals for the uh, Yoko Tenkai faction. Um, I I believe that we can change factions in bulk for cheaper. So mm -hmm. it's it's better if we don't just change like one monk at a time because there's a a minor cost to do it, but um. 
doing them one at a time could add up quickly. So if anyone is interested in moving uh, some of their monks to the new faction, uh, please do just reach out, DM me, let me know. Um, and we'll figure out how to start getting a list of uh, who owns the monk and what monk number it is. So that when we're ready, we can do a bulk change and, and change a number of them at once for cheap at no cost to you. Yeah, currently uh, there's only one, right? Just yeah. one, all all yeah, by myself, alone. Yep. <laughs> we still owe Squabba one, right? So, uh, not yes, not I... not a Yoko Tenkai. Squabba's got keepers, right? Um, yes. Damn. Yeah, so we got a couple more that need art updated. So, um, uh, yeah, and if anybody needs, like, I made this one here on the left, the the Fire Convoy one. I actually drew it in Illustrator, so it's a, it's, an, it's not just the um, the graphic from uh, from the folder, uh, which means it's really it's really easy for me to change the color and stuff, and I can make some updates or modifications if anyone's trying to do their art in the monk style. I'm I added the blunt to the um, uh, the 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 Musk or whatever it is, uh, Elon Musk, I think. Uh, so I added the blunt to that. That's I mean I I think that one was really straightforward, unless there is any other things that need to be done. Um, so I'm I'm happy to try to help get your custom eternal art together if anybody needs help so all right and uh, that's all i got all right mr bud money okay perfect so guys able to money, hear me? When did we give you the last name money when did we actually give you last name money bud money or is that just something that came mm -hmm. with the territory it just naturally uh, happened. I don't know. When just that just naturally so, developed. <laughs> it was definitely, uh, definitely adopted. So I can't change it anymore. It's uh, written in the blockchain somewhere. So, but yeah. So Blood money. Here is our uh, debt box node updates. Obviously, we got those about five and a half months ago. For you know anyone who doesn't remember when we got those, so this is the numbers for about five and a half months um, worth. And uh, we obviously got four nodes, still got the same four nodes. The price we paid and the current price hasn't changed since our last update of about a month ago, a month, month and a half ago, or somewhere around there. Uh, the token prices are down a teeny bit from about a month ago um, for all of them. So obviously our rewards are down a little bit. The rewards accumulated, that is in dollar figures. So uh, in total, rewards accumulated is the dollar value of the tokens throughout all of those, which is $1,871. Throughout all four nodes is what we've generated so far. We've actually generated a little bit more, but you can see at the bottom, at expenses, we had to spend $240, which we did out of the grow token balance, which is for one year of hosting on all the nodes. Um, you know, all nodes got to be hosted. And uh, so with that, already deducted our current roi um is reflecting what we have left in the wallets already deducting that 240 from the grow so you know, 20 percent on grow about 10 percent on that g 30 percent on aluminum and uh over 50 percent on explore for a total uh, return just on the tokens again not talking about node valuations at all just the tokens uh Almost 21%, so it's roughly almost 4% a month. And uh, obviously, the total valuation you can see there at the end as well. That's including the tokens and the current price of the nodes if you want to go actually try to buy them. Which the Nat G, I guess I should say, is sold out. You can't buy those anymore. Um, so those ones are actually can't buy anymore, but that was the last price of the last one that sold. So but that's all we got from the nodes. And uh, go ahead and pass it on. Yeah, real quick. So the the Nat G's when they stopped selling them was at seventy thousand two hundred dollars, and we paid five thousand, right? We were in, so yeah, we were in correct. like the bottom lower five percentile. Okay, or was it like lower fifteen yeah. percentile, right? Something. Yeah, like we that. got all the projects pretty early, but uh, Nat G just had a lot. It's a two year deal because they're <clears throat> we have to pay that two forty twice, right? So posting renewal in March of twenty twenty four. Yeah, you just gotta pay it, you know, once a year or however yeah. often you want to pay it. So, yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Are you gonna do updates on these every month? Yeah, every month or however often that uh, 
Crystal Hydra will do it. I think every month makes sense, but yeah, that's right. And Bud's also forever. No, I'm just kidding. Screenshots of all of the investments. <laughs> I, I know. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. How many people remember Sandlot? The kids like forever, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> All right, sorry, that one was stuck in my head. All right, let me uh, quit detracting from the real slide here. Treasury reporting from March 2023. Treasury balance, 244.602. So we got just about a quarter million dollars in there. Yeah, uh, so these will be updated monthly as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the treasury reporting will be updated monthly as we go along, um, as yep. will the expense budget. So yeah, no changes from yep. what we did. Not a, and I think we're actually up more than 2044 just because the price is up, right? I don't remember. Yeah. It's something. Yeah, we're, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. About 250. About 250. All right. Well, that's it. <clears throat> what a crazy weekend, huh? Damn. We got a lot of crazy stuff happening here as well. But that is pretty much it. That is the update for Monday. Uh, do we want to cut over and start doing some proposals? Yes, but before we get there, PJ, is it is it possible? Can you or someone on, on here show, show us how to set up a June analytics dashboard so we can kind of automate some of the treasury stuff? For... Oh, because it sucks. <laughs> well, no, it's just yeah, it, as I don't know how to fucking use it. <laughs> it's in Python. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know who's actually really good at it? Yeah, stove. Like stove, fucking kills it on dashboards, dude. Uh, that's how I met him originally was uh, through the, uh, oh God, who, who were the, it's the Nelk boys had their pass. Do you remember that? When Nelk launched their NFT project? Yeah. Does anybody remember that? <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's how I met him. But then he was, he came over and started showing me all of his June analytics work that he had done. Um, yeah, most definitely. And if we want to, uh, Amber Data. Uh, my friends sold their company uh, to Amber Data, and they all worked at FRST. Um, okay. So I can get us some Amber Data stuff as well. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that that shouldn't be a problem. Awesome. That should not be a problem. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's see. What are we cutting over to? So we have. Uh, let me kill my slides. Mm -hmm. We have legal. Yep. yep. There we go. All right. <clears throat> all right. Do you, you want to get started? It, do you want to read it? Um, I'm I got it right here. Um, so I can read it. It's not a problem. Go for it, buddy. Uh, I can okay. give you a again. If you want? Maybe maybe just let me do the summarized view. We'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. So, um, so if you guys have been following the journey on incorporation and and all things legal, you're probably aware that the DAO doesn't have current legal advice or or anyone who's really like helping keep an eye on things what's the latest in in regulations and and that's in, in that's actually employed by the DAO, right so legal risk is probably one of the biggest things you've, you've heard in the news if you listen to any of the a16z podcasts or um read bankless you'll see daily stuff about legal and regulatory compliance so um as you know we've got um eli who has been a long-standing um, member of the DAO who's who's been working um, behind the scenes on, on a lot of stuff. Um, he's kind of offered his services um, in this regard for a cost of 380 per month. Now, just bearing in mind that that cost includes an annual cost of 1800 which leg, uh, which Eli is paying um, for a legal database. So we're actually getting his time relatively cheaply here. In the context, if we went to go to an external legal firm for advice on things like incorporation, IP and setup, we'd probably be looking in the 20 to 30K range. Um, so I won't go through Eli's um, qualifications. I'll let him do that after this. But really, the scope of the role is, is a couple of things. So first one is help us to incorporate. So figuring out the best structure that we can incorporate our DAO and drafting PJ, you're scrolling really fucking fast. Oh, um, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and um, helping us to 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 formalize our bylaws. So when we talk about bylaws, these are how you know the company would operate and what it's what it's guided by. Effectively, oh. if you want to if you want to look at the proposals that we've done, they would constitute bylaws, and we would amend and and draft those over time to to really record how the DAO is operating. 
um, eventually when, when, if we choose to move to Ascension, um, again, they'll be formalized in the Ascension document. The next bit is IP. So IP is a big issue for monks. We do not have um, access um, or assignment of that IP to individual monks. I'll let Eli run through the techie details of that at the time, but effectively we need to do this so that we have access to commercialize our, our assets and, and to make sure that everything is above board in terms of that IP. Um, the next bit is we do not have um, form files. So standard documents like NDA, so non-disclosure agreements, contractor agreements, IP agreements, you know, any um, work for hire agreements, codes of conduct, um, or any other compliance and legal policies. And so Eli has agreed to, to help us put that together over time. Um, we also need things like privacy policies, user agreement, cookies policies, just so that we can make sure that um, anyone who's using our website, particularly when we start to monetize it, so that could be, you know, with Mr. Fire's training, for example, and education services, or whether we do something with Chi, that people understand that we're respecting their privacy and also in compliance with regulations like GDPR. Um, over time, we'll probably have third parties. So whether that's devs or whether that's other services that we're using. So we need some kind of legal review on that so we can understand what the impact is to the DAO. Um, and also lastly, governance, right? So governance is an ever-changing thing in this space. Um, I know a lot of us keep up to date with how governance is working in other DAOs. It's also good for someone to have a, have a bird's eye view of what we're doing in the DAO and provide you know, best practice advice to us. Last but not least, proposals review, marketing product review, um, education review, just making sure that everything we have is legal and obviously the incorporation stuff that i talked about before so this is the crux of the proposal i think eli I just wanted to throw to you if you have any additional comments that you'd like to make here and then back to you pj after eli um no additional comments other than uh, i'm not sure if this is the appropriate time for questions or if people would be interested in hearing more but, uh, basically been an attorney since uh, an old guy in lots of pain myself. Um, but I got out of law school in 2004 um, and then I started practicing at one of the ten largest law firms in the world, place with over 2,000 attorneys. There I focused on technology and commercial transactions. Okay. You know, dealing with stuff like software and hardware procurement agreements, license and support agreements, lots of services agreements, and you know, doing things for information technology, digital media, and telecommunications communications companies. Uh, also did some domain finance work, uh, where you're looking at asset purchase, stock purchase agreements, potentially non competition agreements, escrow agreements, and a lot of this for private equity clients. And I also did some drafting and negotiation of credit agreements. So I, I don't need to name all these agreements for you, but it's kind of like just to give you some sense of the range of transactions that I worked on in my initial practice. Um, I left that firm and then, you know, went to a smaller firm. I uh, also did some work transactions. But ultimately ended up at 20th Century Fox and worked in the, I like to think of it as the Do Not Steal Our Cookies division, where we focused on protecting the company's IP that was being uh, distributed digitally for the first time. So, again, to date myself, um, I joined Fox back in 2009, streaming and Netflix was completely. And on the business side for movie studios, um, streaming presented an interesting challenge because, you know, you know there's. there's Eli, it's cutting in, a, in and out a little bit. Yeah, it's a little hard to hear you. Yeah, it's all good. Is that better? Yeah, it's much better. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you, you have such a deep voice. <laughs> it's like... No, no, sorry. sorry. So, um, 
that's just to say, like, I, you know, joined the movie <sighs> studio at the advent of digital distribution. Still cutting out. Really? Yeah. Can you guys hear him? I mean, it's cutting out for me, but I've been having issues. Yeah, it's cutting day. out. It's cutting out for me, brother. Is this better? Oh, that's a oh, hundred times better. Now. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, no AirPods for me. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, night and day. I joined Fox at the advent of digital distribution of content in 2009, and the the challenge there was how do you protect the movie studios' copyrights and trademarks in an environment where there's a ton of online piracy. Um, so, uh, you know, kind of use the tech expertise I had and applied it to kind of copyright licensing and, and did a lot of work with engineers um, in the business teams to, to figure out how to protect content that was being distributed online. Um, and did that until about three or four years ago when I thought I was smart enough to take over a restaurant and run it successfully, um, having never worked in the food service industry. Uh, and so was attempting to rescue a business. Um, it was actually a pretty big restaurant, about $1.3 million in revenues, but it was failing already when I stepped in. And so that was a big learning experience. And I, I just mentioned that because I, I wanted to make sure you guys understand that I have some context for business when my ass was on the line, you know? Um, and, and frankly, I had my ass handed to me in that context. So, uh, I learned a lot. Uh, so that's, awesome. that's a little bit about me. Um, I'm happy to walk through the proposal in detail whenever people think it makes sense, um, and answer any questions. I mean, whatever it is, um, but certainly excited to, to do this work. Um, and yeah. Eli, I got a question for you. Sure. Didn't you do something with Bell California? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, in a former life, I was also a uh, politician slash campaign manager. Um, so before law school, I ran for city council and won and uh, served a couple of terms. I was actually reelected, of all things. Uh <laughs> But that that kind of taught me a set of skills around how do you run for office? And, you know, it's it's really it's not rocket science. It's just like 10,000 things that you need to roughly do in order. And none of them are horribly difficult, but you, you do kind of need to do them in order. Um, and so learn that skill um, and applied it in a context where there is a city in Southern California, a uh, small city, like 30,000 people, maybe. It's a famous um, average, story. You know, a average income in the city for like a family may be like thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars for like a family of four. So like a poor city. Um, and the city manager was paying himself seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year for his job. Now, like by comparison, the president of the United States makes four hundred thousand dollars a year. Right. Like, so, so the city manager was just like, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Right. Uh, it was, it know, was all of them. It was the whole city council. Right. It was yeah, everybody well, on the city well, council. The, the, the way he got That's away with story. it, he's like, he's like, how can I get away with paying me 750 grand? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give all the city council people hundred thousand dollar a year jobs. And here's the thing, right? Like a really good friend of mine from college is currently on the city council. And it's work, but it's like 15, 20 hours a week of work. So part-time job. Yeah, and, and it's at night. So people were like, this is amazing. Like I just got a hundred grand for going to meetings three nights a week and talking to constituents for four hours on the weekends. This is awesome. I'll do whatever you want. Keep on paying me. <clears throat> um and and ultimately this was discovered. Uh, front page of major newspapers in America. And I happened to have a good friend from college who was the homecoming queen and student body president 
of the local high school back in the day. And so um, she asked me to be her campaign manager and we ran her for office and she won. And this was, my Lord, back in 2011. So 12 years later, she's still in office. Damn. <sighs> That's awesome. I don't have any more questions, but uh, we could open it up. But we also have, I think, one more proposal we have to go through, right, Metal? If we're going to go, th are we going through this one? Number, this one? Uh, yes. Moderator yeah. security? Oh, no, that yeah. one goes into keepers, right? Yes, but that's it's the same stage as this proposal. So let's go for it. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I guess I just have one quick question. <clears throat> just say we're, you know, if we're getting legal advice from you and all, um, are you and or will you be doxxed since you'll be providing legal advice for the, the DAO? Oh, I'm, I'm super happy to do that. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm like a real person and like you know, I, I I imagine the conversation when when they pull us into court saying so, who told you you could do that? And and we point to the little uh, image of the devil and say the devil told me to do it. <laughs> right, you were warned. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, oh God, what's that? What's that movie that Keanu Reeves is in where he's a lawyer, and uh, um, what's his name yeah. is the devil? God. Al Pacino's in there. Devil's yeah. Advocate. Devil's, Devil's Advocate. Advocate. Devil's Advocate. That's awesome. Oh, that I'm movie's crazy. awesome. That movie's so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <clears throat> that's, that's fucking Eli right there. That's why he's got that card. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well, I'm afraid we'll have to table any further questions. And uh, do you guys mind if I move on to Burn the Ships? <laughs> I really like this name. But you guys know it stands for BTS, right? Like the K-pop crew. That's what it really is. Right? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it figures out. Just, it's, uh, really, really big K-pop fans here. We're going to make it work one way or another. Um, what I'm listening to is my Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, who wants... Should I read this proposal? I'm happy to read it. Shall read I? Time. All right, read fast. Crypto Monks DAO, the DAO, is seeking to enhance its capabilities across community moderation, direction of security through furthering research into and execution of DAO treasury investments by adding security protocols to the DAO's Discord servers, socials, and operations, and also through the provision of training in our community. <clears throat> MonksPirates.e is the Gnosis multi-sig wallet that will deliver on a series of community security protocols, including full audit of our Discord to maintain safety, and ramp up security. We will be building. Into, sorry, we will be building and incorporating security bots, including bots not limited to the Wick bot. Our privacy, our piracy faction is here to steal the best ideas and leave the rest through a powerful allotment of monks, nuns, and eternals. Our faction goal will be to influence the DAO governance to push through monks money making endeavors towards a strong minimum viable product. Later enhanced through business profits reinvested into the DAO. Currently, DAO funds are entirely made up of Ethereum and uh, with some illiquid mining nodes that are generating a good income but not accessible in the immediate return. Basil Cabbage Maker and Dizzy have agreed to undertake the responsibility of our community security and moderation. In doing so, they're asking for a total of $1,200 or $600 each to be paid through the faction's Gnosis wallet at the end of each month. This proposal also considers the following costs, which will be incurred by the DAO. Purchases of the license of the Wickbot, which is $500 USD. Uh, One-off security best practices review by Lbot uh, that will be completed by whatever. That's another five hundred dollars. So total, we're looking at a thousand, right? Because it's only five hundred. It's not five hundred a month. It's just five hundred dollars one time. Those are one uh, time, yes. Correct. The purchase, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Perfect. So Basil Cabbage Maker is an established financial service professional with five years experience in the industry at different firms and currently works at Fisher Investments, a registered investment advisor with one hundred ninety-seven billion in assets under management. Uh, makes you just a little bit smaller than SVB, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now you guys are fucking huge. If you don't Maybe. know who Fisher is, they're pretty much in every single city of America. Uh, <clears throat> you, uh, you guys have thousands of people that work there too, I believe. He's been a part of CryptoMonks projects since Mint and actively contributed. He has a Series 7, a Series 66, and ECA financial certifications, along with a Master's in Business Administration from the University of Tampa, Florida. <laughs> he has agreed to dox his identity 
in the DAO in the event that he has control of DAO controlled funds. Uh, here is his current LinkedIn, and I will leave that here. I don't need to click on it just now. Um, okay. Dizzy, a crypto amongst OG, joined crypto space in two really? I didn't know you were in here in 2012. Mining BTC and LTC, the good old L Litecoin days, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> I have past experience I in mining and code Litecoin running on monks, there. actually. <laughs> Oh really? Uh, I met the whole 2013 mine Litecoin or mine Litecoin I sold for monks. So. <laughs> I, I met that whole team uh, when I started FRST early on. We went to a place, uh, not the whole team, but a couple of the guys that were working on it. Um, this really really good KBBQ spot out here in LA called Hamji Park. It's a shit. <sighs> if you live out in LA, you probably know what it is. <laughs> so no, I know. Hamji. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> no worries. Uh, I have past experience in mining node running in various block checks, including ETH. Uh, I joined Crypto Discord in 2017 and worked as a server admin. I have worked as a mod in various gaming and crypto communities over the years. I really enjoy the community, and I think that monks know the commitment I bring. Uh, I have treated monks like a job since day one, volunteering to do education, VCs uh, on topics from wallet security to various blockchains and NFTs, help the bud as an alpha mod, <laughs> help bud money. So you always got to put the money symbol in there. Uh, I would like to continue to help the community with the I'll emphasis on security and education. I'll definitely on it. <laughs> All right, fair, fair square. I think you might have lost Bud's vote until that's fixed. The contract will run for a period of nine months until 12-31-2023, at which time the performance will be assessed by the down. Re-engagement will be voted upon via secondary proposal. Basil Cabbage Maker and Dizzy will work closely with the DAO functions to fulfill the requirements of the role. At any time, the DAO members can raise a proposal, which, if successful, can initiate the vacancy of the above position. Acceptable reasons for raising such a proposal would be as follows. Performance, fit within the DAO, unable to fulfill roles or duties. Scopes and responsibilities. Security. I'm just going to read these out because we know what they are, right? So security of the DAO servers uh, and security of the DAO socials and secure uh, security on the IP as well as documents. Strategic NFT-based investments. So uh, we actually talked about this, uh, what was it, last week? Yeah, it was last week, right? In the DAO proposal, we looked at a couple different opportunities. We had Basil's, uh, uh, you know, looking to do NFT-based investments. Um, and it's between Web3 Gaming, Utility, Investment DAOs, et cetera. Paths to monetization. Uh, which you guys have already been doing already so this isn't you know you've already been helping with all of this stuff so you guys are the most well informed undertake the development of investment strategies for the dow which aligns with the dow's stated risk appetite for treasury policy proposal number 10 investigate strategic investment opportunities for the dow's treasury including investments in the e validator nodes whereby the dow might earn <coughs> validator node income approximately 7.5 percent a year um which is fucking great uh, manage and assist Yoko Tenkai with monetization or monetizing amongst YouTube. Develop a strategy for managing and staking the DAO's cash reserve amongst the diversified range of reputable providers. Undertake due diligence activities for staking vendors and providers, as well as new investments that the DAO may undertake uh, from time to time. Whoops, sorry, I'm trying to move around. I accidentally hit the comment button here. All right, uh, let's see. Where was I? So we were talking path monetization, uh, manage and assist. We already did that. Support monetization through moderation, uh, record DAO education. So where was I? I was at uh, support moderation activities across US and European time zones by actively engaging with the community, promote events and activities, and create a sense of community. Manage action and resolve members, participants uh, in the ticket uh, for our community support and collaboration as they are raised, facilitate, get, facilitate giveaways in a fair and transparent manner. Record DAO education, training, and AMA sessions, and upload these to Crypto Monks YouTube. Set a DAO governance voting proposal. Manage these uh, to completion. Facilitate announcements of voting activities to the DAO members, and facilitate healthy debate and clarification of proposals across the server. Handovers. Facilitate smooth handovers from Bonsai, the previous provider of security and moderation for the DAO. Security review. Facilitate external review of the security protocols of the server by LBOT and other external provider. Implement Wickbot and clean up existing bots. Determine the nature of functionality of existing server bots and clean up as appropriate. Uh, facilitate the, uh, the purchase and setup of license to the Wickbot, which will enable enhanced security services for the DAO. And then training. Uh, MonksPirates.eth will create a series of training materials for DAO members that will uh, members and the wider Web3 community regarding Web3 security investments 
and securities and investments, and will collaborate with Yoko Tenkai Training to facilitate the monetization of these training materials. Ongoing performance assessment, pirate code, equitable distribution to grow our faction and Monk's DAO, repay initial investments in time and profits to Monk's community. Once you're paid, maintain the continued expenses and allow the profits above and beyond that to be communally voted on as either distributions or investments. Burn the ships. This is a pirate's greatest asset. The ability to move on the blue waters and greater treasure. Crypto Monks is our ship and we are willing to theoretically die for. The idea of burning the ships is stating that only way uh, is forward and there's no turning back. There is no failing. There is where we set to, uh, sorry. There is where we set our anchor and burn our other options. Crypto monks will make it or we will die trying. Investments profits. Our goal is to be, uh, our goal will be to accumulate and hold assets inside of our factions wallets purchased at heavily depreciated prices to be layered, <clears throat> to be layered, you, I think that's to be later used for faction development and Dow growth. This will begin accumulation through our own investments and monthly payments. Uh, this would be, let me fix that real quick. Be later. And then finally, security. How do you want to benchmark yourselves here? Not having our Discord compromise in the event is, yeah, basically, how do you guys want to benchmark security? Uh, yeah, it's not like an open question kind of to one, the community so. as well, honestly. Like, I'm kind of interested so, in what input other people have. Uh, that was a hard question for me to answer. Well, there was a couple times where things had happened uh, previously on our server. And what happens is, uh, for example, I think we used to use Me6. And I just ran into this again where, like, we'll have services that get hacked. And um, I know that I paid for a bot, which I think was SeshBot recently, um, that we'll probably discuss setting up in here. But it's usually the third-party services that are the ones that are really screwing us. Um, it's nothing That's that what's we're cool doing. about Wickbot because it controls other bots. Like, it's your defense against everything, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Lbots uh, notified us in the past when things have gone awry. Uh, Ethan notified us once from uh, Mecha Chaotic when bots were going. You know, uh, people were compromised. Yeah, there's so certain. It's Twitter usually like it comes in, but yeah, there just has to be spreads pretty quickly, and, that, and that's part of you know, our goal is to stay on top of everything, obviously. Yeah, and we de yeah we definitely don't want to lose uh, control of the server. Uh, I ran into this shit just the other day where someone almost got me. <laughs> like they were really close, but thank God, uh, my spider senses were ticking. Um, but it was yeah, it was nuts. I, I almost had to shut down the Discord for uh, Spoilance because I was worried that people might have been compromised. But yeah, it is a problem for sure. Uh, okay, so. <clears throat> Um, the DAO will enter into a contract of employment or execute an engagement letter with the DAO moderator and security consultants upon completion of this incorporation, uh, upon incorporation. Uh, agreed. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, Mr. Basil, Mr. Dizzy, these go up to vote. When are we putting up the actual vote on these, uh, Mr. Metal? Do we have a, yeah, uh, hmm. a lot of date and time? So I think firstly, um, the legal services proposal is up. It like it's up for discussion as as well as this moderating security proposal. I suggest we okay. leave it for Wednesday this week, and then okay. we we go through um, and and basically um, then have a keepers vote. Complete that by Friday, and then um, and then push it out to the community for a wider vote. All right, looks like we're seven on the money right now, guys. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Any concerns? We got a lot going on this week. What else is going on? <laughs> what else isn't fucking going on? Jeez. Uh, all right. Um, all right, let's call it. This is good. All right, guys. Oh, hey, CJ. Uh, 